Hello and welcome to tonight's homework help for Wednesday night, January 9th, 2013. We're going to jump right into percent pictured. Convert each percent to a simplified fraction. Then create a model for this statistic. Uh, they give us an example here. Uh, let's take a look at this other one here though. Fact, 25% of toddlers have used a smartphone. So we're going to do just uh, just like what they did over here. They're going to write out the percent, set it equal to uh, the number over 100. Then we're going to find the greatest common factor we can divide top and bottom by to simplify the fraction, uh, and then write it out as an English sentence. So here we have 25% is equal to 25 and we know that percent compares all numbers to 100. So that's 25 compared to 100. Then we can um, let's see here, a little mistake there. Uh, then we can divide top and bottom by the same value. We want it to be the biggest number that divides evenly into 25 and into 100. So that ends up being 25. So I'm going to divide top by 25 and the bottom by 25, which is just a special form of 1. So we don't change the value, but we end up with uh, nicer numbers. So 25 divided by 25 is 1. 100 divided by 25 is 4. So then we get 1 out of 4. We can put a little equal sign there. Okay, And then uh, according to the directions here, it says convert each percent to a simplified fraction. Okay. We went from percent to a simplified fraction, and we even wrote it out in, as an English sentence, one out of four. Then create a model for the statistic. So now my model, I'm going to use, I'm going to draw a little toddlers. You can tell that they're toddlers because they're bald like Mr. T. They got one little curly cue of hair. Um, some of my students from last year may remember Flacco our class mascot. Anyways, um, I'm going to draw a toddler there, and a toddler there, and a toddler there, and another toddler there. Okay, But this one, I'm going to draw them next to an iPhone, because that's a smartphone. And I'll even draw a little phone symbol on there not the best phone symbol and then that toddler's mouth will be open like he's talking okay so then there you go you've got one toddler out of four total that has used a smartphone 25 percent of all toddlers have used a smartphone okay so you're going to do the same with the uh, bottom two uh, problems uh, you're going to write it as a percent then write it as a fraction that number over 100 and then you're going to find the greatest common factor divide top and bottom by those greatest common factors and end up with a simplified fraction. Write it out as an English sentence and then model it, okay? We don't just want figures and things crossed out. We want it actually thoughtful modeling, something that people can look at the picture and know that, oh, this represents how many toddlers have used a smartphone or, in my case, a banana phone. Okay, anyways, let's move on to the next slide. Okay, and here we have uh, number cards. George has four number cards, five, eight, seven, and three. What is the largest four-digit number George can make using all his cards? So you're going to want to rearrange these in some order in such that you can make the largest four-digit number George can make using all his cards. I'll give you a hint. You're going to want to put the biggest number in this position, uh, and you're probably going to want to go from largest to smallest. Okay. Two, what is the largest even four-digit number George can make using all his cards. So in, you're going to do the same thing that you did in one. You're going to do it in two. The only thing is you have to make sure that that last digit is even. Well, three, seven, and five are all odd, so it has to end in the number eight for number two. Okay. Uh, for number three, we have um, what four-digit number? We have what four-digit number closest to 4,000 can George making, make using all his cards? So your number will uh, have to be as close as you can get it to 4,000 and reuse all four of those cards. Number five, it says 5,738 5, plus some unknown amount equals 9,613. So you're, again, you're going to reuse those cards from above and fill in 
these values here such that uh, the answer is equal to 9,613. Then you're going to show how you figured it out, okay? If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Mr. Supper or myself. Uh, thank you. Good night, good luck, and go Bears! Rawr!